Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today we are diving into the latest developments in the John Benet Ramsey case. For those who aren't familiar, John Benet was a six year old girl whose tragic death in 1996 has remained unsolved for nearly three decades. Recently, there's been some renewed attention on this case, and we will discuss the latest updates, including new pushes for advanced DNA testing and what the Boulder Police Department is saying about the investigation. Let's get into it. First, let me quickly recap John Binet's case. On December 26, 1996, John Binet was found dead in her family's home in Boulder, Colorado. Despite an extensive investigation and national media coverage, no one has been charged in the case leaving it one of America's most infamous unsolved crimes. Her father, John Ramsey, is now advocating for the use of advanced DNA technology and genealogical research to help identify the person responsible for his daughter's murder. He believes these cutting-edge methods and specialized laboratories could provide the breakthrough investigators have been seeking for years. This renewed push is partly due to public interest sparked by a recent Netflix documentary. In response, Boulder Police Chief Stephen Redfern has assured the public that detectives are actively reviewing leads and incorporating advances in forensic science. While some details remain confidential, the chief emphasized their commitment to solving the case and keeping an open mind toward all suspects. So much of how law enforcement works has changed in the last 30 years. There are a number of things that people have pointed to throughout the years that could have been done better, and we acknowledge that is true. However, it is important to emphasize that while we cannot go back to that horrible day in 1996, our goal is to find John Benet Ramsey's killer. Our commitment to that has never wavered. Despite decades of investigations and media scrutiny, no charges have ever been filed. However, with advancements in DNA analysis, there's renewed hope that justice might finally be achieved. The Boulder Police Department has also reiterated their plea for anyone with information about the case to come forward, promising to pursue every viable lead until the truth is uncovered. Before we wrap up, I want to share my thoughts on this case and the new techniques that could be utilized. The idea of using advanced DNA technology and genealogical research is incredibly promising. We've seen these methods solve other high-profile cold cases like the Golden State Killer. The ability to trace familial DNA could open doors that were previously unimaginable in investigations like this. What stands out to me is how much the field of forensic science has progressed since 1996. Back then, DNA analysis was in its infancy, but now we have tools that can analyze even the smallest trace of evidence with extraordinary precision. With the right approach and resources, I believe it's entirely possible to identify the perpetrator. However, it also raises the question of why these techniques haven't been fully embraced by investigators in this case until now. Is it a matter of resources, priorities, or something else? That's something we need to consider as we follow these developments. Ultimately, I'm hopeful that these advancements, combined with the public's unwavering interest, could lead to the resolution that John Binet and her family deserve. What do y'all think? Are these DNA techniques the key to solving this case, or do you think there's still more to uncover? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Stay safe. I'm very curious to hear your responses. Let me know in the comments below. I look forward to bringing you more in the near future. Keep a lookout for my next case. Thank you to my producer, Suzy Q, for all her hard work gathering case info. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell. Bye, y'all.